11.30 p.m. A battalion from the Japanese 65th Brigade infiltrates through the cane field. They came howling out of the field. The front crackles with a lightning storm of muzzle blasts. The Japanese wither in the crosshairs of the Filipino marksmen. As the first wave of Japanese die on the wire, successive waves use their comrades' corpses as bridges to overcome the obstacle. Now, in the confusing darkness, Japanese and Filipinos come face to face. Along the left of the front, across from the cane field, Filipino machine gunner Narcisco Ortolano pours hot lead into the Japanese from his water-cooled 30 caliber. For dozens of the charging enemy, Ortolano's muzzle blast will be the last sight they ever see. As one group of Japanese soldiers rushed in, the weapon jammed. The Japanese infantry that were charging his position very quickly closed the distance with him. Ortolano draws his pistol and jerks the trigger. Killed five of the rushing Japanese in that way. One of them made a thrust at him with a rifle bayonet. The brave Filipino grabs for the rifle, and instantly his thumb is amputated by the razor-sharp blade. Still, Ortolano hangs tough. He manages to turn the weapon against his attacker and jabs him with the blade. Suddenly, another rifleman slashes at him. Ortolano yanks the bayonet from the dead man's corpse, swings the rifle over, and drops the enemy soldier. Up and down the scout lines, the men have shown the same stubborn refusal to give any ground to the Japanese. Daybreak reveals a battlefield strewn with the bodies of the dead. and those who refused to die. The next day, Ortolano was found by his machine gun, badly wounded, but still alive. And he was subsequently awarded the Distinguished Service Cross for the action. After another night assault on January 12th, the Japanese give up trying to breach the lines of the Philippine scouts. They move their attack west to try their luck against the less formidable troops of the Philippine Army. This was the first serious battle fought by the Filipino scouts in the Bataan campaign. A lot of hope had been placed on their soldierly abilities, and that hope was realized.